everybody. It's me, Carmine DiStefano, the Book Man. Now, I smite well. I smite really well. Which led me to thinking about possible gods higher ed studios has not taken into consideration. Now, I'm going to break them down to each individual background. And of course, I'm going to start with the Romans because, after all, I am Roman. And here are some god possibilities that I would like high res and the community in Smite to take a look at, maybe comment on your own. Starting with Orcus, the god of broken oaths and the underworld who took the place of Hades in some areas, is one that I thought would have been taken advantage of by now, seeing as how people are so obsessed with orcs in World of Warcraft, fantasy games, and J.R. Tolkien lore. And this is where it derived from. To me, with his description and everything, I would see a guardian, magical melee guardian, who can give people some sort of buffs after they've been killed by the enemies to some degree, and have powers that can torment and harm the opposing gods, and maybe even give some protection to his own as sort of the oath type thing. Fortuna, the goddess of fortunes both good and bad, I would assess that she would make a nice warrior class, seeing as how she is depicted using a warrior type weapon. And of course, her powers would have to do with something involving good and bad luck. Maybe a flip or something like that, like hell, where one time it's good, one time it's bad, depending on whether or not you hit the ultimate power button or whatever, and maybe her abilities and buffs or passives would be affected based on whether she was going good fortune or bad fortune. Mithras, the sun god of courage, is a good hunter class for the Romans, seeing as how all we have is Cupid at this point. And since he's depicted slaughtering Taurus, I would think that his ultimate would be something involving the blood of an animal, or maybe even a passive that gives him better critical chance against animalistic gods or gods that have something to do with animals. Juno! Since we don't have Hera for Zeus, why not Juno for Jupiter? The goddess of fertility and marriage would be a great mage class that does a lot of healing. And of course, you have to utilize the gimmick of her forbidden garden in some form, or even a forbidden fruit in another. So those are possible gods I was thinking in the Roman background high res might want to double check on. Leave your comments on specific powers of these gods or any other gods in the Roman class that you would think would work well with the particular game. Thank you all for watching and more for you soon to come, so stay tuned, take care, and have a great day.